So the pitch, okay? The pitch, this being the last step, step number 12. Use this pitch, I love your company because, and then do your research on whatever that company is about. What is their mission, what is their why? The second part of that pitch is I can solve these problems for you, okay? What specifically do they need and what can you provide with the skills that you have? And then the last part, the close, we'll, we'll call this the close of finding a job. I'm willing to work for free. Let me come in there and work for you for 60 days. If at the end of that, it's still not a good fit, all right. But during that 60 days, you have nothing to lose. If Guys, I'm telling you, and if you have a roommate, you gotta live on the floor of someone's house, you've gotta live in the apartment without the air conditioning, you gotta live in with, you gotta move with your mom, whatever you gotta do, you're gonna trust me, you'll be motivated during that 60 day window to deliver as well. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I wanna give you this, this kind of this parting thought is understand that your expectations should, you should have the expectation that you're gonna get probably a 5% response rate from doing that system. You're not gonna get 95% calling you back because even though that's a great offer, there is companies out there that go, you know, we have a waiting list. So if, even if you wanna go work at Google right now, I mean, they have some unbelievable high criteria that you have to be able to meet to get that job. So don't get all worked up, and a lot of entrepreneurs, myself included, uh, we're not the smartest people in the world. You know, this is Steve Jobs, uh, you know, he didn't actually program computers. He was very good at design and very good at management. Uh, Henry Ford, you know, that guy failed five times. You know, Walt Disney failed twice. Uh, you know, Thomas Edison really, 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 really struggled there for 10,000 failed experiments before he figured it out. My main man, Benjamin Franklin, his son was 21. Benjamin Franklin's son was 21 when he was like, hey, son, run out there with that kite. Let's see if we can harness electricity. If his son was 21, how old was he? He was an old dude. The point is, it's gonna take you a while to have that success, so don't freak out. But this is an accelerated way to find that success quickly. And then once you've gone through your 100, if for some reason you don't have a job yet, just put a new, new 100 on there and keep doing it. And I do that when I raise capital for companies, and that's just, guys, that's how you do it. That's the system. I do it for marketing, the Dream 100, I do it for raising capital, the Dream 100, I do it for getting jobs. It's just, that's how it works. So whether you're a student thriver or somebody looking to get a new job, uh, maybe you're a thriver has a lot of maybe bilingual capabilities. Ooh. That's a huge you know, skill to have yeah. to be able to solve problems. So you go out, you put on your Dream 100, all of the different companies that need bilingual uh, uh, talent um, where maybe they're working in, in the, the south near, near Mexico, mm. maybe, maybe uh, you speak Spanish, or maybe you're working in an international industry. You find some companies that need that ability to speak multiple languages. I love your company because I can solve these problems because, and then also let me come and you can test me out for 60 days. And if you're uh, watching this episode right now and you're looking for a guy who's semi-unilingual, uh -huh. Right, so where you know half of a language, or, yeah. or the, you're kind of, yeah. kind of, uh, if you need someone who can write good and talk good and works with people, likes to do things yeah. with his hands, I, I'm available. You're available. I, you know, I ain't very good at writing and stuff, but I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Clay, thanks so much for sharing with us. Who's sharing? You're sharing. <laughs>